So we are at period number seven now. So here we are talking about role play activity. If you check Bloom's taxonomy, Bloom's list of verbs in that role play comes under the higher level, creation level, level six, right? So in that category, role play. So I want my children to role play. Role play for what? The best way to eat me because there are different food items. Some are to be consumed raw. Some are to be consumed by cooking and some can be consumed either I mean, in both of the ways, right? So I want to discuss about this topic. So to introduce this topic, I will ask my children to perform in the class. I will ask them to rename themselves as a particular food item and they will be enacting as a particular food item. So you, if you want, as per the age group, you can go ahead with the props as well. Children can use different props too, or otherwise without that also, they can go ahead with that. They can have small mm -hmm. pictures, yeah. self-drawn pictures and accordingly they can go ahead with that and they'll explain like I am a particular food item and I have to be consumed raw I have to be consumed in a cooked manner so after that you can introduce your topic you can explain the same so that is you see engaging the students eliciting uh, the topic in the class activating their prior knowledge whatever they know already maybe some of the children they may uh, come up with the wrong answers. So you may have to help them for that. Now, formative assessment for that, matching fair activity can be conducted. Either you can give them a jam, just a minute worksheet, a matching worksheet, true false, fill in the blanks, or maybe in general enactment can be done. If you have already conducted an enactment next time, you don't have to can, uh, uh, conduct any kind of uh, enactment in the class, you should give that worksheet. You may ask them to write a note on that. So this is how they'll be able to write the same. Now, period eight, uh, my last period, I have to sum up. And for that, I have got a small topic I need to talk about table manners. I maybe need to talk about some importance of healthy uh, food versus junk food. So I need to talk about that. For that, I have already mentioned here, maybe a table mat activity as per the different age groups. I have listed out, I mean, children, they will be enacting in the class. They'll be laying out the table, how the table is to be laid, how the food is to be presented knife, fork, how it is to be placed, the bowls, plates, napkin, each and everything, that activity can be conducted or maybe any kind of, uh, uh, you see, uh, debate can be conducted in the class, healthy and junk food, whether junk food is allowed in the school or not, uh, cold rings, whether it is allowed or not in the school canteen, if it is banned, why it is banned, when it was banned. So they'll be able to research and come up with various topics for that. So, I mean, you can conduct the same by, you see, integrating it with the real life. So, uh, and then you can proceed ahead with the topic that you would like to conduct in the class. And now for that formative assessment, teach me the right way. Uh, uh, CFU, check for understanding. A student will be told to demonstrate the table manners by laying the table properly. Earlier also we have conducted this uh, activity means I am asking like that activity will itself be CFU. And now closure of the chapter. I want to close the chapter. The facilitator will throw more light on the topic and will motivate the students about not wasting food. She'll encourage them to help the needy people by providing food from my plate to yours. I have shared number of activities when I have uh, made videos on SDGs, SDG uh, no poverty, SDG zero hunger, good health and hygiene, and uh, you see clean water and sanitation. I have already made different videos on that. If you want more number of activities to incorporate in this lesson, you can go and check those videos. I will be sharing the links in the description box as well. So now moving ahead, SDGs integration as I've already talked about. I have incorporated four SDGs over here as I have just shared with you, no poverty, zero hunger, good health and hygiene and clean water and sanitation. These are directly related with this chapter. I'll be talking about these SDGs. I will talk about like who has started with these SDGs. When are we required to complete these SDGs? What can be, uh, how can we contribute in uh, achieving these 
these SDGs. So this is how the same can be done. And now homework, you see purposeful homework. Now I have mentioned out of my eight uh, days, maybe I have been allotted, I have to give the homework on alternate day, science subject is there um, in my homework plan. So day one, I will ask them to read page number so, topic number so, don't give the entire chapter for reading and jot down the points in your own words. It means those are the lower order thinking skills. They are listing down something in their own words. And day two, I will ask them to complete the back exercise, page number this, question number this. Okay, and then frame your own questions. When they are framing your own questions related to a particular page, I will ask them to read and frame questions they are coming to the creation level and hands-on activity we may ask them to cook and serve uh, as they have written earlier a recipe of the healthy food item they have to cook and serve to the parents and share your pictures with you and uh, so that will again be a creation level and i have given one homework parent collaborative activity you have to explore the refrigerator like how many healthy food items are there how many unhealthy food items are there and accordingly they have to also uh, design a healthy menu for uh, maybe the entire day, entire week, or maybe a birthday party, however you, they would like to go ahead with that. You can tweak it accordingly. That is also creation level. And then if you ask your children to go for a blog or maybe podcast, they have to write on their own. And uh, that also comes under creation level category. Ask them if uh, it's allowed in your schools, they can go and they can tweet their learnings, right? be brief. And they can go for blogging as well. They can have their own uh, Google Sites uh, blog website. They're able to write their key learnings, right? So then students' reflection, sunny areas, or we can say the highs and the lows, sunnies and the muddy areas, what went well, what needs to be improved, and maybe two stars and a wish. So they'll be able to write that. And the teacher's takeaway, what is your takeaway from the lesson? Were the children very, very engaged in the chapter? They were very interested in the tap activities that you conducted, or maybe you felt there were too many activities next time, so I'll be reducing the number, or maybe you find, okay, this chapter, I conducted this activity, I will be changing the ice-breaking activity in the next session. So you have to jot down your key learning. And I have already said, now the next is students who required remedial worksheets, what, are, what were your initiatives for that? Uh, I promise after you conduct your chapter in this manner, any of the chapter, when you make it interesting, no child will require any kind of remedial sheet. Let me tell you, we will have a number of students who will be doing really very well, will be very, very enthusiastic, okay? And then your name, your signature, your date, your school coordinator's feedback, and then principal's feedback. And uh, now... See, it's a chapter at a glance. I have not completed it. You have to do, you have to complete it. I mean, I have mentioned the food we eat, eight periods are required. What will I do in the first two periods? Three, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight. What is my plan for that? And then <coughs> period one and two, I will elicit and engage. I'll do individual activity in uh, period third and fourth, what, which activity I'll conduct and uh, usually think pair share collaboration will happen and all this, the, you will be doing that. And here I'm not going to show you the worksheets, but let me tell you, I have already created some worksheets too. You may also share with them different worksheets like that has to be attached with the lesson plan. Let me see if I'll be able to share the same with you in the upcoming lesson plan. Okay, till then, uh, please do watch these videos and don't forget to leave your four, uh, valuable comments in the section below, as well as I want you to write some kind of topics that you want me to take up. Uh, you are finding it challenging or you want any kind of support. I would really love to help you, all of you, the entire teaching community. Till then, bye-bye. Thanks from Inakshi Narula at Mentoring the Mentors, an institute that accelerates your learning curve.